G'day guys, how's it going? Morning all those people who are up this early. Well, it's not that early anyway, but um, Shadow Self. I was uh, listening to some other guy on YouTube. Anyways, he was talking about Shadow Self and the fact that, you know, other people like Jordan Peterson and um, even Mel Robbins and a lot of people talk about if not just shadow self specifically, I talk about, you know, the more negative aspects of you and that quite often a lot of the things that you dislike or hate in other people are some other traits that you also exhibit. Um, it goes into the kind of thinking that, you know, you, you pro can project a lot of what you know that you yourself have as negative traits. But having said that, you can also project good traits as well. So the shadow self, all the things that um, you probably don't like about yourself that you won't admit and it talk, you, you think about wanting to better yourself, part of that is knowing that there is this aspect of you and also wanting to not just not deny it but accept that it's there, that it is a part of you because that gives you balance. Uh, makes part of the whole it, and it's not all of you trust me it is not all of you you have that aspect but it's not all of you um, and embracing it um, because then it will make you stronger if you deny it uh, you're out of balance um, it's just like you know knowing that you're treating someone in a bad way um, as opposed to just treating them in a bad way and you know just saying oh, look I feel justified because you know they're just bad. It's the whole, uh, I won't go into the whole collectivism versus individualism sort of thing, but it's about, yeah, definitely about balance. The whole yin yang thing. The shadow self uh, is not always something people can accept. They will deny it or they'll blame other people for it. Um, just accept that it's there, accept responsibility for it, then you can actually do something about it and, and go, okay, well, some things I know that I've done are not so good or some of the ways I think are not so good, some of my actions are not so good, but it's also part of me and I accept that. Accepting the contradictions within yourself is really hard for people uh, because I guess it goes into the fact that if they are wrong about something or they're bad about one thing, that it taints their whole person. That's, that is really not true. Um, your shadow self is definitely a part of you and it's just gonna be different for a lot of different people. So what do you see are aspects of your shadow self? What do you see that you do daily in life? Um, how, what are the things that you actually don't like in other people? And does that come out in you or do you deny that it is a possibility that that is a part of you, that that negative aspect is a part of you that you see in other people? And, sorry, I'm getting distracted by all these pretty flowers. <laughs> and I think that it's, it's true when people talk about the shadow self, it's, it's the anger, um, the, I, I wouldn't call it all negative emotions. Uh, I wouldn't even call it all base emotions and I talked about this with a, a friend of mine and, and my owner is that uh, he was a bit of a rat bag he did a lot of you know bad so-called bad things or not so cool things and and he um, he learned to I guess embrace that part of him in the way that he went to um, you know the military got a career uh, he got told to use that, I suppose, that shadow self in a way that benefited other people. You know, like going in the military, a lot of people that go into the military, uh, police force, fireys, well, not the fireys are, are bad, but, you know, a lot of people see police force as bad. A lot of people see the military as bad. Um, but they are actually using their... Um, knowledge of themselves and the fact that you know people do do bad things they're using that to counteract and say look I know that people can do bad things 
I know this is how they're going to do it, and this is how we're going to solve this problem. Now, a military is really interesting because when they have a controlled aggression, aggression people think is a bad thing. It is not entirely a bad thing, it is the way you use it. It's much like anything else, like a pen is not a bad thing. You can use it to create great works of art, or you can use it to deface something or call people bad names. Words, a lot of these things are actually just instruments. It's the intents and context that you use them in that makes it bad or good. So, do you have a form or aspect of your shadow self that you can use for greater good? Or change it so that it's, yes, it's a bad thing, but you can use it to your advantage. Like an example, aggression, go to the military, learn to control it. Controlled aggression used to go and save lives. Use those, that aspect of you to go help people, to stand up for people, to defend their rights, you know. But, um, yeah, I guess it's up to you whether you can uh, face your shadow self or not or face some aspects of your shadow self. And the aspects will come up every now and again. It's cyclical. It'll pop up. <laughs> You'll find it easy to deal with in some days and in some days than you will in others. So take it easy on yourself, but still own up to the fact that you have a shadow self and learn to embrace it. I know I do. Sometimes I'm just like a too lazy I just don't want to do this or I have bad thoughts about people and I go and you know what that's just not helpful um, and I try and turn it around anyway my arms getting sore from holding this camera up oh my god anyway tomorrow tomorrow go live will be a little off <laughs> because I've just found out how heavy some of my gear is when you pack it to go away somewhere omg anyways I'll see you guys later happy hump day